Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to share uh, my my first silver. I've just bought my first silver. I'm used to buying gold. I like buying gold, gold bars actually. But uh, recently I've been watching those silver stackers. I've been watching their YouTube channels and uh, I got interested. Yes, I thought. Actually, I thought that this could be my my new hobby, uh, and my recent hobby was collecting valuable paintings, and uh, and this one is going to be my second hobby, collecting silver coins. Actually, this is my first silver ounce, but I can't I can't say that this is this is a typical coin, right? Maybe this is silver round. And uh, these are silver bars. Well, uh, I wanted to buy 100 grams, but uh, the firm, the, the store, informed me that they had only 50 grams. So they said, can we send you 250? And I said, okay. Where, where did I buy this? Well, from Istanbul, Turkey. Istanbul gold refinery actually in Turkey there are shortages of, of silver we can't find silver everywhere and we, we don't have a lot of options there are just a couple of online stores and maybe lots of gold selling uh, physical shops but or stores but they don't have silver interestingly we can't find silver in Turkey maybe it's because uh, our stocks in Turkey, our silver stocks in Turkey or the production in Turkey is not enough and so we have to buy online this is the official store of Istanbul gold refinery and uh, you can check their web address it is gramaltin.com so uh, you know the prices of, of silver and also gold they change and uh, they are updated instantly in their website you know I bought this I bought this uh, silver round from the website although it was expensive everything in fact I can say that buying gold in Turkey buying gold in Turkey is cheaper compared to many other countries but I can't say the same thing for silver Actually, I can say that buying silver in Turkey is much cheaper compared to other countries. Yeah, I've been watching these YouTubers, I've been watching their channels, Silver Stackers, and, uh, and uh, I checked a couple of websites, both in Europe and in, in US. And uh, yeah, I can say that we are buying silver very expensive in, in Turkey, right? So how much did I pay for this? You already know where I bought this. Fine silver. 999. Okay, so the price, as I said, the price is updated instantly. Uh, you know, you have to check the dollar, US dollar Tur Turkish lira ratio because it changes, and also the ounce of silver changes. But I bought this, I paid 230. Turkish lira, 200 Turkish tur Turkish lira. So maybe today you should divide this uh, by seven, or maybe you, you can check the the fiat ratios, dollar US yes, dollar and Turkish lira. I said, but I paid 230 30 Turkish lira for this one ounce silver, which is actually expensive over the spot price I can say and for, for this uh, well actually I didn't want to buy 50 grams I had two orders in my first order I bought this one ounce this one because I like watching this I like you know these uh, silver coins and uh, I'm sure that I'm going to keep this for a long time although it's expensive I'm planning to keep this as a part of my hobby and I'm going to keep this for a long time so in my first order although this was expensive 
I bought this and uh, these two, but actually I didn't want to, as I said, I didn't want to buy 50-50. I wanted to buy one grams silver bar, but as they didn't have, they offered me to send 50-50 and I accept, accepted. So here, 100 grams, I paid uh, 590 Turkish lira for 100 grams. 590 Turkish lira for 100 grams, but if you want to buy only 50 grams or 250 then you can't buy these for by paying 590 Turkish lira because then the price will increase you have to pay you have to pay for 50 grams you have to pay uh, about actually over 300 Turkish lira like 310 320 so if you want to buy 100 silver bar gram but like two bars 50 50 then you can't buy by paying 590 you have to pay 620 or 640 something like that right so this is the case so from now on i'm planning to actually maybe i can as i said i have just initiated a new hobby and i'm going to keep this one and for these four maybe i'm going to keep one of these and sell the the remaining three or maybe I'm going to buy another 100 full 100 uh, silver bar because I'm sure it will feel better it is heavier maybe it will look better so I will have to trade this or maybe first I will buy 100 and then in time hopefully in time as my hobby progresses in time I hope the the ounce of silver will increase and also the dollar US dollar Turkish lira ratio will increase so in time although I bought these uh, although uh, they are not expensive at the moment maybe in time they will worth it and these are precious metals precious metals are always good you now they are always nice to to look at, to touch, to hold and also whenever we need money you know we can always use these precious metals so gold and silver in the current conditions of the world quantitative easing etc money printing well concentrating on silver although it is expensive and uh, buying gold and also maybe some other scarce uh, investments like Bitcoin maybe or digital currencies is something that every wise person should do uh, but from now on as I said when I travel abroad I will always check the stores to find some nice silver rounds or silver coins so I would be very much interested in hearing your comments if, if there is any information that you would like to share with me Please drop down your comments uh, down below the video and definitely subscribe to the channel. So what do you think? Would you like to have one of these? Maybe this one or maybe one of these would you buy in Turkey? Well, I would definitely recommend you to come to buy gold in Turkey but uh, not silver. Istanbul gold refinery is a very reliable firm it is popular so no problems in buying this but as I said silver is expensive in Turkey however as you know silver and gold stackers they they collect this uh, for a long time you know we are not going to sell this tomorrow or next week or next month when you buy precious metals you keep them for months for years maybe so in Turkey we don't have any problems in collecting precious metals because uh, you know the price of these is affected both by the increase of the ounce and also the increase of dollar uh, both of which most probably increase they very often decline or drop so 
buying precious metals in Turkey is a very wise idea and for me starting a new hobby you know in the past I had m many hobbies like collecting watches or uh, some other things but in time as the person gets older you know uh, the person wants to have something that is valuable more valuable so it will worth it you know paying the money uh, using energy or time with this so as I said precious paintings and uh, metals and more specifically silver coins is going to be my new hobby from now on so please please inform me please uh, write your comments down and uh, talk about the prices of silver coins in your in your place and uh, that's it for now thanks for watching and goodbye